Hello guys, today will be a lesson of dynamic dropdowns and example of jQuery versus Laravel Livewire. So imagine some kind of form where you need to choose a country and then when you choose a country there is a list of states appearing and then when you choose a state there is a list of cities for US for example. So three dropdowns depending on each other. I see a lot of examples about two dropdowns online but I haven't seen many with three so let's do that. And the project is already created and I will show you two examples with jQuery and with Laravel Livewire. A quick demo, so if we choose a country, any country, there is a state but it's empty because the states are loaded only for United States. So let's choose United States and then we have states of United States and whenever we choose the state then there is a city drop down appeared with values. So for example Colorado the first city is a gate but if we choose some other as you can see the cities are different. So in PHP Storm, there's a route for house controller. And if we go to house controller, there's create form where we get all the countries from the database. The database is already seeded with countries, cities, and states. States and cities are for US. And the source of that is a separate repository we had a year ago we created useful seeds with world countries and US states and cities. So you can use that. I'm not sure how accurate it is at this point. We created it a year ago and I don't remember actually the source, some open source database online, but I've used that one. So we load the countries and then in the blade file for that houses create. We have a form with house name and house price is irrelevant. And there we have three drop downs countries states and cities and it's a bootstrap framework based thing so by default d non class means that it's invisible so state and city is invisible when the page is loaded and we don't have states values and we don't have city values and then at the bottom we have jquery code for this so we have section scripts which is corresponding to yield scripts in your main app blade or whatever is your main blade file so you load jQuery and then on country ID change, you load the Ajax of states and then change all the HTML for the state and you make it visible. So remove class D none. And then same thing, whenever you change the state, there's Ajax request for the cities and you load the HTML for all the cities and you make it visible. The Ajax requests are in the web. It could have been in routes API, but I've made it simple. So city controller and states controller, if we go inside, is just loading the city by the parameter of state ID and similar is for state by parameter city ID we just return JSON and that is working but you have two Ajax requests so two requests to the server which may take some time and also you're working with HTML instead of working with variables like country or city like array and for that you could use Vue.js so you would create Vue.js component have variables of country cities and stuff like that and on change of variables you would watch for those changes and make the API requests to get the list of states or countries. But if you are not a fan of JavaScript in general, whether it's jQuery or Vue.js, Laravel Livewire makes developer life better if it's a backend developer. So I have installed Laravel Livewire, so Composer require Livewire Livewire, and then made a Livewire component, which is called country, state, and city. Also in the main blade file, so in app blade, we need to add Livewire scripts at the bottom and Livewire styles at the top. And then we're ready to use Livewire. No more initialization or something like that. And then in the main component, country, state, city, the component takes care of all the variables. And then the blade part of the Livewire component looks like blade. It doesn't have any JavaScript. So you work with the same PHP Laravel variables and you don't make any Ajax request to any API. So if selected country is not null, then we load the states. If selected state is not null, we load the cities. So now in the create blade, we replace all of those fields with Livewire component. It's commented out. Let's activate that and delete the country, state, and city dropdowns and delete the jQuery at all. So we don't need the scripts at all. Like this. And refresh. Same country. Now what happens if we choose the country? Let's run through Laravel Livewire component thing. So we have variables, countries, states, and cities. And by default, in the mount method, which is kind of like constructor, we load all the countries, and states and cities are empty, empty collections. And also we define that selected country and selected state is null, which means unselected. And then render. 
renders the blade file with those variables so those variables are all accessible in the blade so selected country you choose again if it's not selected country then you don't even load that thing and whenever some variable is changed it's defined by wire model so this select drop down is wire modeled to a variable perhaps the best example is this one so wire model selected country whenever it's changed two things happen in the live wire component there is a method updated selected country so updated and then variable name in the camel case and then that variable becomes with new value automatically and also we load the states from the database so no api call no web request or anything it's just loading the states and then the states variable becomes active with values which you load in here so this is not null anymore and states are present and same with the third level so wire model selected state and updated selected state if it's not null then we load the cities so if we choose the state for algeria there is no state but for united states again we choose the state hawaii and we have the cities it does look like hawaiian cities so in my opinion laravel live wire solution is more beautiful not only beautiful but more backendy and since i am a backend developer at heart i don't like jquery or vue.js or any javascript that much so if you are somewhat like me i guess you should try laravel live wire or if you have tried dig deeper into that and for that i have two resources for you i have a course practical introduction to laravel live wire on my teachable account and also i'm preparing a set of components for live wire so ready made and ready to use which is at livewirekit.com for now it's not launched for now you can subscribe to the email list that will receive the updates and receive the first notification when it's launched probably in january 2021 but even before that i will launch something for subscribers so subscribe to get notified or if you're watching this video later probably it is launched and check out livewirekit.com the repository for this project will be on github so you can check that out as well and see you guys in other videos